Now I know what you're thinking. Is that guy wearing the same thing he did in the last video? Maybe, but I promise that this was actually not recorded on the same day, which makes it sound even worse, I know, but it's just the hoodie I keep in my office right now. So it's the same thing. It's all right, get over it. And what you should be doing instead is heading over to store.xero.com to pick up FTK from the website. We've got a couple of different options depending on what you need and where you work, including a law enforcement only version. Please do that so that I continue to make a paycheck. And of course, so that you can solve your cases quicker. All right, on that topic, let's jump over and take a look at another feature in FTK 8.0. In the interface, one thing you may not have known that we actually started bringing over in version 7.6 is our ability to parse mobile images. Raw output from solutions such as Celebrate, GrayKey, and many others, we can bring in not only the report format, but we can also bring in just the raw output and process that data with Xero Mobile Parsers and bring it in to the software. We of course still support like Celebrate UFDRs and XRY reports and many more, but if you don't want to dual process, if you wanna bring it in, use FTK to process that, you absolutely can. In this video, I'm gonna show you how, if you've done that, whether it's a report or a raw output, you can view the chats inside of Smart Review. So once you load up your case, in this instance, we are in the main case. We would come down, expand the Artifacts Explorer, then Mobile. It'll give us an idea of what we have in here. Okay, we have Celebrate Files, so we are looking at a Celebrate Output. We'll come into Chat Conversation. Okay, we're gonna look at some chats. Our interface will filter our mobile stuff down to our chat conversations, and you'll see various types of information. Most importantly, we have our chat participants here and our chat message count. So you could sort by either simply by clicking on the uh, column here. Okay, so we have our stuff there. If we were to go ahead and select one, whatever this one is here, let's see if we expand that out. It's a conversation with Raylan Givens and this phone number here, 24 messages. We can open up our view pane and take a look at it. Once in the view pane, you have your little bubbles here that you can take a look at, go through. The pictures will be rendered there for you. More picture, picture, that sort of thing. We'll render emojis if there are any, that sort of idea. You can just view the chat. But maybe you're coming down through here and you have an image here that you want to label. So you could come up and you would select your label from here, like let's say is suspected. Now I've got the Vic stuff loaded in, but you can have whatever label you want. Then you can come in and hit label on that chat and it's going to label the chat. And you come down, say another picture, say the same thing. You could tap it in. If I needed to change my thing, I could say, I offender identified because maybe this picture is, you know, a picture of a person. It's clearly not. And we could go ahead and label that chat so that we could come through and, you know, identify what we need to identify and go on. Okay. Now, what if I want to change the perspective? So right here we have, uh, you know, Raylan on the right, the other number on the left. What if I want to swap that? I can come up here and change my perspective. And now Raylan's on the left and the other one's on the right. It just depends on the narrative that, you know, makes sense for your device, for your conversation, that sort of thing. So you can quickly switch the perspective. If there was multiple people in a chat, of course you can do that with everybody in the chat and set the and set the perspective to whatever matches, okay? Whatever whatever your needs are there. The last thing I wanna show is the ability to mark things as privileged. In a lot of different cases, you know, HIPAA, whatever, you may have to mark things out for another reviewer um, that is privileged so that they can't see that information. Client attorney privilege, whatever the case may be. So we'll go ahead and close the label and we are going to click to select flag as privilege configuration. And we can set here, flag is privileged, okay? And we're gonna set that. And then when we come in, we can flag that as privileged right here. 
Okay, and we can flag this one as privileged if we want. Let's say that, there we go. And so now what happens when the reviewer comes into this case is they actually wouldn't see those messages because they're flagged as privileged because hey, they they shouldn't see those. And so we, so based on your feedback, maybe not your feedback that's watching it, but if it is cool, thank you. Based on the feedback from users like you, we simply remove those from the, the conversation. They're simply gone, okay? Not blurred out or anything, we just remove. And lastly, let's say we've gone through and we labeled a couple of these messages and now we want to see which messages we label. We can do a couple things, but if we enable the chat message item here in the artifacts tab, you can see the is suspected, is suspected offender identified and now it will jump us to that location. Okay, we could also toggle off the conversation view to get just into what we want, which is messages. Now, to get us just what we want, and when we have only one selected, the benefit of that is FTK is going to try and select the best column set for what you're doing. And that's what we get here. So now we can read it in line and you know, you can see the label here uh, that you know you, you have in fact labeled it. So as you can see over in the artifact pane on the left, we have a lot of different mobile stuff that we can do depending on the type of evidence that you bring it in. We'll cover some of those in other videos. I wanted to focus on bringing mobile in and uh, viewing that in the chat and the different things we can do with conversations. So you can load up your mobile data, combine it with computer data, uh, multiple phones, all that sort of stuff. You can bring it in and review it in one simple interface. If you're using our FTK central cloud system, of review. This makes it really easy. You don't have to s distribute portable cases for every different type of tool that you've used. It's combined into one unified interface with all the same great information that's available to everybody. Be sure to pick up FTK if you don't already have it. It's on the website store.xero.com and of course make sure you're subscribed. We're going to be doing a bunch of these feature videos as well as other things uh, coming soon and you wanna be updated, you wanna know what's going on with the software that you are using. So thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video.